One of the greatest aspects of Minecraft multiplayer is the ability to compete with your friends. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add a leaderboard like this or like this to your Minecraft server. So let's get crafting. Now, first of all, I have to go over a few things before we can actually start to make our leaderboard. First of all, if you don't subscribe, this won't work. So don't take any chances and just smash that red button. But actually, there are a few things that you need to know before you can create this leaderboard. Now, you'll need to be running a paper server, so none of that vanilla garbage. Secondly, you'll need all of these plugins. Placeholder API is for the actual statistic or the placeholder. Protocol lib is just needed for placeholder API to work. AJ leaderboards is the plugin for organizing all the statistics into the leaderboards. And then decent holograms is just for displaying our leaderboard. Now you will be able to use almost any placeholder that you would like. It just needs to output an integer. But if you don't know what an integer is, then go back to seventh grade. Hello class, today we're going to be learning what an integer is. So open your notebooks to page five. Also, if you're lazy, I'm going to link a template hologram in the description so you can feel free to use that. It looks really clean and has monthly, all time and weekly statistics. But if you want your server to be unique and not like the millions of other servers that are already using my template, I'll also show you how to make the leaderboards manually. All right, so our first step is to download all of our plugins. If you already know how to do this, feel free to skip to the next part using the time codes in the description. So we want to download placeholder API, protocol lib, and we want AJ leaderboards, which also just updated, and we want decent holograms. So now we just want to upload all of our plugins to our server. Come on, upload faster. You can do it. I believe in you. So there we go. All of our plugins are uploaded. So now we can just restart or start our server. And there we go. Our server's now restarted. So now I'm going to show you how to actually use the leaderboards plugin. So if we come over here to the wiki, we can see all of these. And you're probably like, oh, yes, there's so many. There's so many. What do I do? What do I do? Calm down. I'll explain it. So we really only need the name and the value. You can mess around with the other stuff. I've literally never used that in my two or three years of being a Minecraft server developer. We have board number and type. The board refers to the placeholder itself. So like your statistic jumps or your statistic players killed or whatever. And then the number is like the rank. So like one, two, three, so on and so forth. And then the type is like the all time, weekly or monthly or maybe yearly. I probably should know because I'm making a video on this. So now that we got that figured out, let's hop in the game so I can show you how to get this set up. So here we are in game. The first thing that we need to do is download our placeholder API expansion. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to create a deaths leaderboard, but you can use almost any placeholder that you want. So the first thing we want to do is download our eCloud expansion, which is going to be statistic. So you just want to type that command and then Pappy reload. There we go. So now we have our statistics loaded into the game. So now we need to add that into AJ leaderboards. We need to tell it to recognize this placeholder. So we can use AJL add and then statistic underscore deaths. And there we go. So now it created the statistics underscore deaths board. But you don't care about that at all. You just know that that means that that is loaded into the game. So now we need to create our pedestal for the leaderboard. This is completely unnecessary. I just think it looks nice. So right here, I'm just going to place down my redstone, put the piston. Just looks kind of cool, doesn't it? And now we want to use decent holograms. So DH create. I like to give all of my leaderboards a very organized name. So like leaderboard deaths, for example, that way, when you go and search through like your hundreds of leaderboards, you'll be able to find it quickly. And now we need to do slash DH line set leaderboard deaths one, one, and we can call this whatever we want. I like to use a little icon, a skeleton skull because death is like skeletons and then we can make it enchanted because that'll look cool 
Look at that, that's nice. I'm using like some OG texture pack because I'm a Minecraft OG. And then to add a line, we just want to do DH line add leaderboard deaths one, and then we'll just add a blank line just to give it some space, you know. And now we want to say like most deaths. Something to be proud of. This is going to be the hardest line, so pay attention right here, okay? So take your take your AirPods out or whatever and pay attention right here. So now we want to go ahead and copy this. And then we can slash DH line add leaderboard deaths one one and then like number one and then paste this in. So this is going to be the name of the person. So type, we're just going to do all time. The number, we're going to do rank number one. And then the board, which is going to be statistic underscore deaths. No percentage signs because this is already a placeholder. So we don't want a placeholder within a placeholder, even though it kind of seems like that. So now we want to head back to this page and copy the value one. Copy that to your clipboard using control C. Head back into the game. And now we'll just like, and A. And then we have to paste all this in. It's a lot, don't worry. And then we want the all time value. We want the number to be number one, unless you want to confuse people. And then board, we just want to put statistic underscore deaths. And that should work. And I'm in rank one because I have zero deaths on this server. Now, if we were to go and add a second line, what we can do is just go through here and then just change all the ones to twos. And then Nobody, because nobody else has died on this server yet. The server's like brand new. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use my template. So you want to head to the Mediafire link in the description and you can download this. And now you want to go to your server and we want to upload it. I did a lot of takes for this part, so I have to delete this. But you want to make sure it's named just like that. And then you want to go in here and change it to your world name. And if you want to customize this for a different leaderboard, like anything else, you'll want to go through here and change like the statistic deaths to basically like whatever your placeholder is. So then you want to change the most deaths to your basically something that relates to your placeholder. Like if we had most jumps, it'd be most jumps. And then you want to change the icon. So for jumps, it'd be like a feather or something. And then you can also change the color to a different color code. For this, if you want to make that small text, this is the small text generator that I use. I'll have that in the description too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you change it for every single one and make sure you change it even for the your, your statistic part. And then at the bottom, make sure you change this to the name of the file. If you download my file, it will work just for the leaderboard deaths, but you'll need to change it if you make any more. So now that we got this installed, what we can do is head back into Minecraft and DH reload. I'm going to change it to day. <laughs> and now we just want to move it here. So we want to go up nice and high. And I like to center myself using that. And then DH move here. Leaderboard deaths. That's a little bit off. Just move it up. So there we go. We have our deaths leaderboard now. It looks a lot nicer than the one we made earlier. So now you should be capable of making leaderboards, but I have homework for you. I want to see you guys create a leaderboard entirely from scratch. If you think you're up for the challenge, you can go in my Discord and send me a picture of your leaderboard when you're finished with it. And the winner gets a pat on the back. Good job, you. You made a leaderboard. Well, thank you guys for watching until the end. I hope this video helped you out. If you're still having issues with it, feel free to leave a comment or join my Discord and I can try to help you there. Also, did you know that I have a Reddit? I didn't until the other day. So I'll link that into the description if you want to come hang out with me on my Reddit page. Okay, this video is way too long, so I will see you guys on the other side. Why do I always do that? It's so stupid. Okay, bye.